there will not be a 20 series, 11 series graphics card coming out in the next six months. Now, before you know, you get upset at me because I have very compelling reasons why the graphics cards will not be coming out. Let me explain. First off, number one, I am all for new graphics cards coming out. I think it will be extremely awesome for these GPU prices. Yes, they're going down at the time of this video, and yes, I think that it's even better if they go down even farther with new graphics cards. So my point being is, I'm not making this video because I don't want to see new cards. I would really want to see new cards. That's not why I'm making this video. I feel like, first of all, two reasons. Number one, there's been a lot of mishope I don't know, people are waiting for these new cards to come out and they're not going to be coming out for a bit. Six months, maybe, yeah, I don't want to think anything past that. We'll just say six months. Because, I'm going to explain it, NVIDIA has released another graphics card and now you're going, well, another one, aren't they supposed to release these new series? No, they released another Pascal graphics card. Now, why is this sad news? Well, it actually is pretty bad news. So, first off, NVIDIA has never in their history t d released a card, especially from the last gen, and then the right, uh, real quick, right around, released the next gen card afterwards. We've seen at least a six month to a year gap. Now, I hope that it's not a year that we don't see. And honestly, I hope if you're watching this video in the future and you're going, oh, I was wrong, I am glad. I hope I am wrong. Please let me be wrong. That's what I want. But I am making this video because I feel like there's a lot of YouTubers out there, a lot of big YouTubers that can just go around and say, hey, let me just get a bunch of views by saying the graphics card is, you know, pretty close. It's going to release soon when we don't have either any proof because there's people saying it's June and we just got another graphics card in May. It's not happening. And I'm not trying to be critical of other people and I'm not naming anybody. I'm just saying it's hard to sit down and tell somebody, you know, tell your fans that that's supposed to happen. So... Let's also talk about a couple other reasons why they won't be coming out. Now, I made a whole video talking about why I'm pretty positive before we even got into the situation, even before this graphics card came out, talking about why I'll be at the end of this year, and this kind of reinforces it. Now, I'm going to give you a quick summary of that video because, honestly, if you're watching this, you really don't want to go feel... I, I personally wouldn't feel like clicking away to find some video from, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks ago. So, I'm going to explain it real quick in a summary. So, first off... I was looking at it from a manufacturing standpoint. So, for example, you know, you have this new RAM which offers a, you know, substantial speed and performance boost over the past generation. It's a quick and easy way um, to, you know, have the consumers foot the bill. And this is looking at it from the NVIDIA standpoint. Basically, they just pay for the RAM prices and you don't have to pay for much R&D to get better performance and speeds. So, what is this new memory? It's the GDDR6. Sorry, it's hard for me to remember that. And basically, that's just beginning production now. Now, the reason why I said we won't really see anything to the end of this year, especially in that video, was just because of the fact that, you know, with that production, it takes a while to get enough supply of it to actually begin production of graphics cards, and then to get production of graphics cards, and you have board partners that need to design cards, and then you can have a release. So all that has happened, and we've gotten this production just starting right around now. So that really means I would not expect to see anything towards the end of this year. So... As I said, those are two of the reasons why. And I I hope, as I said, that I'm wrong. That would be awesome. But looking at it from the standpoint of supply, looking at it from the standpoint of, you know, we got NVIDIA and releasing another graphics card, and looking at it from the standpoint of the fact that NVIDIA has said they don't expect graphics card prices to come back down until next year, which, by the way, they kind of already are, that the only reason I would think that NVIDIA, out of all people, would say graphics card prices would come down is unless they had a new car that was supposed to come out, which, as I said, get back to that first point, I hope we don't have to wait a year before we get another graphics card. Honestly, but there's a lot of compelling options and choices, especially when the video is kind of raking in the money as it is from all these graphics cards, still with prices kind of above average, that they would want to release another card and bring all those prices down. And I mean, first of all, these new cards, those miners, they still are out there, and when these new cards come out, they're going to be expensive. The old cards are going to be pretty cheap. The new cards, they're going to be expensive. So, I make this video for you, the consumer, whoever's watching this video, that if you're waiting for a new GPU to come out, to be honest with you, I would say buy now. Because why? Well, prices are pretty low as it is. And to be honest with you, we won't really see another graphics card for a bit. Now, if something comes out next month, I honestly, I, I could be wrong. I'm human. but. I really, with all that evidence, it really would not make sense for NVIDIA, especially releasing this new graphics card. It really doesn't seem like that. 
And to be honest with you, go ahead and buy now, enjoy your computer, enjoy it for the year or so that is relevant and brand new. And then so what? You can just maybe upgrade a couple years down the line. It's not, you know, anything in this next gen is gonna offer will not be substantially better. We'll, we'll probably see this GDR6 boost performance or whatever, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna murder the name of it. But it's gonna boost performance just by 30%. And I mean, that's at most. And if you're looking for that 30%, just keep in mind that when these graphics cards come out, they're going to be expensive. And you're probably not going to get your hands on anything at MSRP for another maybe six months to a year afterwards. So you've got a good bit before your graphics card really you know, make, wasn't worth the wait. Is it worth a two-year wait or a year-and-a-half wait to get this new graphics card? Or can you buy it now and enjoy it for the next you know, year-and-a-half being the best to the, having the latest gen? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, check out my channel for other cool tech-related things. And um, like the video if you enjoyed. As I said, I, I, I'm not, you know, trying to say, you know, I don't want a new series to come out. I'm just saying that there's a lot of evidence sitting there that's saying that's not happening. And there's people out there that are all doing the happy dance. Oh, yeah, we got a new series coming out. When? Really? Yeah, not, not happening. So thank you for watching. As I said, like if you enjoyed. And, of course, goodbye.